Hey guys, welcome to another theory of computation tutorial. Today we're looking at some examples of milli machine. So let's get started. First example is construct a milli machine that produces one's complement of any binary input string. All right. Now first we'll understand what is one's complement. So let's say we have got a binary input string. What is binary input string? A string that has only zeros and ones. Okay. So zero one zero zero one. Okay. Now what is one's complement of this? You reverse. If it is zero, you make it one. If it is one, you make it zero. So this is going to become one zero one one zero. So this is what one's complement means. All right. Now we have to construct a machine that produces one's complement. That is, if you give input zero, it is going to produce output as one. And if it is giving input as one, then it is going to produce an output of zero. So let's say we have got. Let's say our starting state. We have got a. Correct. You get input zero. You give the output one, and you give input one. Then you get the output zero. Okay, so this is how we construct a simple milli machine based on the input. The output is dependent on the input. Okay, so this is how we construct a milli machine that produces one's complement. All right. Now let's look at the next example. Construct a milli machine that prints a whenever the sequence zero one zero is encountered in any input binary string. So what we'll do is first we'll construct the basic DFA that is going to accept the string zero one zero. Okay. So let's say you are in starting state A. Okay. You get an input of zero. You go to state B. Correct. Then you get input one. You go to state C. And in state C you get input zero again. You go to state D. Okay. So this is where we are going to make it happen. That is basic. If it is producing a string zero one zero, then we are going to print a. Okay. Else we'll print b. Okay. So we'll write down this thing. So we have got the uh, language. Let's say we have got. We are going to use the letters as a and b. So only if we have the sequence zero one zero, it is going to print a. Else it is going to print b. Okay. Now. So let's say in starting state A. Now we'll choose for every input. We'll choose for every state. Okay, that is either it is zero or one. We'll decide for that. So for zero, we are going to state B, and if you are getting one, we'll remain in state A itself. Fine. What about state B? If you get input one, you are going to C. But if you get input zero, you are going to stay in state B itself. Okay. So if you don't know how to construct DFA, I have made a video on that. First, you go and check it out. Okay. Now in state C, what happens? You get input zero, you go to D. You get input one. Where do you go? If you get input one, then you go back to your state A. Okay. And what about state D? You get input zero. Where do you go? If you get input zero, you go to state B. Why? Because zero. Say if you get zero one zero zero one zero. So from here you get zero, then you get, go to B. You get one, you go to C. You get zero, you go to D. You get zero again, you go to B. You get one, you go to C, and you get zero. You come back to state D. Okay. So you get zero, you go to B, and if you get one in state D, then you go back to state A. All right. Now we'll write the outputs. So only if we get input zero one zero string, then we are going to print A. So zero one zero. Then only are going to print output as a. Okay. The rest everywhere else will output b. Alright. Now we'll try some examples putting in. Okay. So let's try a string zero one zero zero zero. So let's say you're in state a. Okay. You get input zero. You go to state B. So and the output is B. Okay. Then you are in state B. You get input one. You go to state C. The output is B. So again you write B. You are in state C. You get input zero. You go to state D. Output is A. Okay. So after getting zero one zero, you are getting the. After getting input zero one zero, you are going to get the output A as we wanted. Okay. Then what happens? You get zero. You go to state B, and the output is B. Correct. And in state B, you get input zero. You are still in state B, and the output is also B. So we are only printing 
when we find a string 0 1 0 when we encounter it then only we are printing a else you are printing b now we'll try another string over here let's say 0 0 1 0 okay now let's see here in state a you get 0 you go to state b and the output is b okay and then you get another 0 you go to state b itself output is b then you encounter 1 you go to state c and the output is b okay and in state c you get input 0 where do you go you go to state d and your output is a okay so over here once we encounter 0 1 0 we are getting the output a okay i hope you got this concept now you can even try for 0 1 0 0 1 0 see what happens 0 1 0 0 1 0 okay so let's say you are over here in state a you get input 0 you go to b and the output is b okay then you get 1 you go to c the output is b again over here you get 0 you go to d output is a okay so once you encounter 0 and 0 you are getting output a again you get 0 you come back to state b output is b you get 1 you go to state c output is b again you get 0 you go to state d output is a okay so when once again you encounter 0 and 0 you are getting the output as a so this is how we construct a milli machine that prints a whenever the sequence 0 and 0 is encountered so i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much